For this pirate quest, essentially you have to walk the plank. So there are two locations that you can do this in. Either go to Shipwreck Shallows, which is this PUI, or you go to this ship right here. There are two ships right now on the map, two pirate ships that you can use this on. So when you make your way to this pirate ship right here, there should be a plank inside of it. And if you've never watched a, a pirate movie, basically walking the plank is a punishment done to traders or mutineers. And it basically means you jump into like uh, shark infested waters and like yeah, they push you over. So we're gonna do exactly that. There we go. This is the plank. Oh, this is sick, man. All right, let's walk it. There it is. <laughs> I like that, man. I like that a lot, dude. So yeah, this is the basic idea, guys. So again, if you can't do it here, you can always just go to this location. There's another ship that you can do it in. And yeah, just do that. And that should complete the quest. For this pirate quest, it's just you have to locate a jar of dirt. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and go to this location right over here. It's gonna be this place right here next to the, uh, I believe it's the buried uh, train. I'm pretty sure that's where we're gonna get it. And once we do that, we're gonna unlock stage two. This is only stage one of the quest, by the way. Also, you can expect a lot of people to drop with you. So I'm kind of expecting to die here because there's no real uh, mobility. Ooh. Okay, here we go. So this is it. Collect a jar of dirt. Okay, and we're out. <laughs> as soon as you, saw, as you see somebody going for the chest, you just get out of there. So deliver jar of dirt to... Oh, I did not catch that. I'm going to get this car. We'll take this. And we'll take this. Ooh. All right, let me just check here. So, uh, stage two, deliver jar of dirt to Jack Sparrow. Oh my God, dude. Jack Sparrow is very, very far away. So let me just ping the exact location for you guys, just in case you didn't notice. So Jack Sparrow is gonna be right here at this cave. There's a cave entrance and that's where we're gonna find him. You can of course reset the game and go there, but I'm gonna try to do this in one game. So here we go. All right, we're almost here. So I highly recommend you go for the car exactly like I did because I made it here in literally less than two minutes. Especially thanks to the off-road tires. But yeah, we're almost there as you can see. So let's go ahead and deliver the jar of dirt to Jack Sparrow. Hopefully I don't kill him with the car. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to kill the NPC or make him aggressive. So this is Jack, as you can see. So Jack talking to Jack. Hopefully there's nobody here. Okay. So we'll just talk to them. And we're going to... Uh, so what's that you've got there? A jar of dirt. I've been looking for that. Hand it over, uh, please. Reunited at last. Thank you. Now bugger off. <laughs> All right. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. For this pirate quest, it says you have to destroy structures or objects with a ship in a battle. So the best way to do this is to go right over here east of the map because that's where you're going to find Jack Sparrow along with the uh, new item for sale. So you can just buy it from them. Uh, but again, the only problem here is that other players are also doing it this way. A lot of people are already talking to Jack Sparrow because of the other quest which asks you to deliver a jar of dirt uh, to Jack Sparrow. So a lot of people are landing there and it's kind of hectic. But we're gonna try to do it. This is like my third try, by the way. So here we go. So again, we're gonna get the um, the ship in a battle item from him. And then we're gonna use it on the boat. Because the boat has oh, more than 100 structures or objects inside of it. So we're gonna do exactly that. Okay, I think we have a nice drop here. Also, I'm uploading videos. So my there's a little bit of lag here. Hopefully it doesn't really... Have, oh my god, dude, how? How did he get such a low drop, dude? He's already on the ship. What the... I, I need to relearn how to drop from from the battle bus, man. <laughs> Sometimes when you need to be the first one to, to a place, it just feels like you're so inadequate compared to other people, right? So just gonna buy the item as fast as you can. That guy is going for the for the chest. Come on. So 200 gold. And now we are gonna use the item. Oh my god, yo. This is sick. I'm in love, man. <laughs> I'm in love with that item, dude. That is insane. What is that? You literally spawn a ship and get on board of it. Okay, someone else is... Ooh, someone else just used this, the exact same thing. <laughs> Alright, let me just go ahead and loot here. Hopefully I don't die. Ooh, another one. Come on, come on, come on. I can use it in water. Yes, yes I can. And it's a nice like way to get out get away from people. Alright. 
So it's only a one use item, which kind of sucks, but it is a very OP item. As you can see, the ship is almost destroyed. Just keep doing that over and over again. I'm at uh, 88 out of every 100, so almost there. Just do that several times, and that's it. Could be the quest. For this inspired quest, it says you have to hit an opponent with a single pistol shot. Is that correct? Yeah, a single pistol shot. So the best way to do this is to go right over here. Ooh, what is going on? Okay, right over here. Uh, because that's where you're gonna find a uh, an NPC that sells the flintlock pistol. Which, in case you haven't had any experience with this pistol, it's basically a one-shot pistol. It only has one shot and then you have to reload. So we're gonna go ahead and buy it from her. I believe it's gonna cost uh, around 100 gold, but I'm not sure. I forget the exact price, so we're gonna check it out right now. Let me actually grab a weapon first, because, you know, you never know. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's somebody here already. Hey there, buddy. All right. So let's talk to Bright Trader. Yeah, that's her name. And as you can see, we got ourselves the flint lock, the flint knock pistol. I think I should have left that guy alive. But yeah, this is it right here, as you can see. And it's a one shot, and it pushes you back. So we're gonna heal up really, really fast and find ourselves an opponent. You can use this on either players or actual like NPCs. All right, here we go. We'll take this, and we'll take this right here. All right, so we're gonna go right here to Redline Rig because it does have a bunch of NPCs that we can do this on, or we can do it over there as well. Either will work. I just need to find myself a car. There should be a car around here. This is reloaded. Okay, we're good. We're good. So we got a car station and a car. Nice. We'll give it bulletproof tires, and we'll go to the nearest PY. Hopefully the NPCs are still alive. I heard somebody inside there. Oh, hello. Daddy's home. Okay, I guess we're going to go for the for the dude who's inside of here. Yeah, there we go. There it is. As you can see, hit an opponent with a single pistol shot is already done. Beautiful. For this pirate quest, search you have to hit headshots or eliminate opponents. So the best way to do this is to go to Brutal Beachhead or to Redline Rig. And you basically just eliminate opponents as you headshot them. So that's a real player, but the, the, real, like, uh, uh, the real way to do this is to do it on these NPCs right here, as you can see. And you can just aim for the head. So just gonna aim. So the more headshots you do before you eliminate them, the better. As you can see, that's 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. I completed it. That's, that's awesome. So once you eliminate one of them, a lot of them are going to swarm you. So more of them are going to come, as you can see. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Pretend you did not see that. Okay. I'm, I'm a good player. I really am. I swear. So yeah. Again, highly recommend you go to uh, Brutal Beachhead right here. Or Redline Rig because it has a bunch of NPCs there. And do exactly what I did. Just aim for the head a couple of times and then eliminate them. And that should count towards like 4 hits, maybe 5 hits. So it only, it's only going to take you like 3 NPCs in total to complete the quest. For this pirate quest, it says you have to raise the flag. I think it's called raise the flag on the floating island. So all you got to do is just make your way to the floating island when it appears. As you can see, it is going to appear right now. There it is on the map right here. You can see a giant rift. And you have to be really the first one there in order to do this because everybody and their family are going to be doing this uh, this quest. And I'm pretty sure I saw somebody use the zipline already. Hopefully uh, I was mistaken. Here we go. Just going to use this. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go over here. And we'll start raising the flag. So this is the flag as you can see. Make sure that everything is reloaded. And the idea is for you to raise it. It takes around 45 seconds for this to reach the top. And you have a better chance if you are the first one here, by the way. Once you see, you see like people rifting on top of you, just be careful because people are going to be dropping like flies. And yeah, not in the like positive way. All right, here we go. Almost there. I'm going to prepare this shocky grenade because I think I'm going to have to use it. Okay, I can't believe we're getting away with this. Raise the flag on the floating island. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is awesome, man. This is really, really awesome. And come on, come on, come on. There it is. 
As you can see, the fire flag has been risen or raised or whatever, and the quest has been completed. It's literally as simple as that. Beautiful. For this pirate quest, you have to speak to your character before taking damage. So all you gotta do is just make your way to any character that you uh, know of. So for example, I went to this character right here, the Bright Raider character, because I got the Flintlock pistol, which I will need for this quest right over here, as you can see, which I'm already doing, which, which tells you to deal damage with Flintlock pistol or to travel distance with it. So I highly recommend you just come here and just, you know, complete two quests in one go and just talk to Bright Raider right over here. As you can see, there she is. You can just talk to her. As you can see, she sells the Flintlock pistol for 100 gold. And this is the exact location I Again, so right over here and yeah once you talk to her before taking down make sure that nobody has hit you before you talk to her that's the only condition and once you do you would have completed the quest for this quest it says you have to damage opponents with a flintlock pistol or travel distance from its knockback so we need to deal 500 damage all travel 500 distance and for that we're gonna go right over here to the bright raider npc which does sell the flintlock pistol so you don't really have to look for it you can just go here and just buy it from her you can also find it in the pirate chests, by the way. I already uploaded the video showing you all the secret locations for all the pirate chests, if you want it. But of course, you can just come here and just talk to her. The Plink Lock pistol is a very cheap one, and you uh, you can get it for 100 gold, as you can see right here. So just going to go ahead and do that. So as you can see, this is it right here. This is what it looks like. And we can just either deal damage to players or just travel with it over and over again. Of course, this is going to take a while to do. Let me just go here and take some, uh, like get some height. Oh, we have somebody here. Let's go ahead and damage them with it. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> so as you can see, it's already at 200 out of... Oh, I got... I, I'm out of ammo. Let me just go inside here. Let's open this up. And open this up. Okay, no ammo for the flintlock, sadly. So we're going to have to go around the map and grab some ammo. But you get the gist of it. As you can see, the quest is now at 228 out of 500. You just need to keep doing it until 500 distance is passed or 500 damage is dealt. And that should complete the quest. For this pirate quest, so you have to damage players that have damaged you. So all you got to do is just uh, like bait a fight from somebody. Let them damage you first. And then you simply eliminate them and deal as much damage to them as you can. Ooh, we have somebody here. There we go. Nice. There it is. All right, let's see. So that's 450 out of 500. So I just need to do it uh, once more. Make sure you all you are already like fully shielded and fully healed. So you can just survive the fight. Because sometimes it's not a bot like you saw, you saw right there. So yeah, that's the basic idea, guys. Just do that. And that should could be the quest. For this pirate's quest, you you have to drink potions in different matches. So all you gotta do is find yourself either a small shield potion or a shield potion. And you can just simply drink them. So we're gonna go ahead and drink this one right over here. To get ourselves uh, 80 shield. And as you can see, it has counted its 1 out of 3 right now. Uh, the only problem is that you can only do this one per, once per game. So you just need to find yourself some potions, which are very easily found, uh, foundable, as a, is the, if that's a word. Uh, but if you want to instantly get one, just go to uh, Rectus Railways right over here. You'll find a mending machine inside of the train station. And just buy one and just simply just consume it. And then do that three times in different matches, in three different matches. And that should create a quest.